Are you having trouble with barrel heels? Are you down for another cheesy intro that's pretty much similar to my front side flip intro? Well, yeah. Then let me tell you how to do a barrel heel right now. It's all in the scoop, it's all in the flick, and it's all in the trying. So let me tell you how to do it right now. Let's really, really focus on pushing the board this way and jumping this way. For me, when I first started doing barrel heels, I actually learned them this way, but I would jump back as far as I could and overcompensate because of how frustrated it made me that my board kept landing on my heels. My, my land on the board and my toes would still be on the ground. So I ended up just jumping backwards out of um, rebellionness, bro. And it ended up working out better. So like I started jumping back and I started trying to push the board this way. So when I went to scoop, I literally pushed my back foot as far forward as I could instead of just popping it and I jumped backwards. And eventually we met in the middle. Like Benjamin Button. Another main focus is having your front foot in an area that will flick off the board when you go to pop. So with me, I have, I do have my toes hanging off more than the average person, um, but you can do it either way. You can have more of your foot on and it works just as well. You just have to make sure that when you go to pop, when your tail hits the ground, your heel goes down just a little bit like that and it gets the board to do the flip and then you can kick your foot out. So at first, if you need to try this, you might want to just flick down to see if you can get it to flip and then it gets less and less and less down. Like mine at first were pretty, pretty flicked down and it looks kind of bad. It looks like a, like a doggy paddle kick and then you just need to learn how to flick your foot out and eventually it'll come as long as you figure out the timing with the heel hitting the edge. That's pretty much all the advice I can give you except for that you want this trick to underspin uh, rather than overspin. So for me, like really focusing on the flick got my board not to spin as much because I was just really focused on it. But it's actually better like that because when you learn them under flipped, you can do them down stuff better. And on fly ground, it's easier to compensate for an underspin than an overspin. If you're overspinning a trick, it's really hard to fix it, like to give it a little less strength. But when it's underspin, you just know, oh, I gotta flick a little harder, flick a little faster, spin a little harder, pop a little doublier. And that's it, that's another short one. The Vero Hill and the front side flip were really quick because it only takes three or four serious techniques to really, really refine the trick. And especially if you practice a lot, using those techniques, it all comes from practice. Like I can't just keep telling you and telling you, obviously you need to go out there and just like kind of work on the things that I tell you and it'll eventually come. As long as you just focus on these things and don't let it slip to where you're like changing your feet positioning and doing something weird and then in the future it messes you up. Cause that happens a lot. Some people are forever cursed with certain problems with certain tricks. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to see more how-to videos, click here. And if you want to just subscribe to my channel, click here. And if you're awesome, click here. Nothing's gonna happen. Actually, maybe, yeah, click my face, see what happens.